What is good, fam? This is Ashley's Corner. And this video is for um, the DMV or uh, people that visit the DMV or every, anybody in between or people that just like betting. Talk about leaving money on the table. Bruh, I got an article from uh, the Baltimore Sun. I believe... Um, the article happened in December last year, okay? Um, the Supreme Court on December 19th, 2018, struck down a federal law that bars gambling on football, basketball, baseball, and other sports in most states, giving states the go-ahead to legalize betting on sports. Now, I'm talking about Maryland. As you see in the picture, um, two of these states are already are already uh, legal, legalized sports betting. And the other two, I think, happened last year sometime. They're already legal right now, I believe, or about to become legal. Maryland is the only one that's still trying to vote on this matter, and they're trying to push it fast, really fast. Everybody, I haven't heard or seen a video about people opposing it. It's just the voters. It's going to have to be the vote up to the voters to make the to make the decision. But as far as the big guys, you know what I'm saying, like um, like the people that own the casinos, you know, uh, and you know, people like that or whatever, they're all for it. Everybody's all for it. We just need to vote for it. Now, um, the council voted eleven to two to legalize sports betting in in the nation's capital. The law was put into place in 1992 even though there was there was and is an underground market in which people bet online through offshore sites. Betting on horse racing is the only one that's already legal in Maryland, and that's true. Um and it says uh changing it says cha changes to Maryland gambling laws require a state constitutional amendment. The earliest Mar Maryland voters might consider such a, a amendment in November is is in November 2020, which would be next year after this. And that's what I'm saying. They don't want to wait for that. They want to do that right this year and put it on the ballot for this year and put that question on the ballot for this year and have voters vote for it. And then it says, um, if, if everything goes as planned, live casino at Arundel Mills and Horseshoe Casino in Baltimore, plus MGM National Harbor and uh, Prince, Prince George's County have all expressed interest in this multi-billion dollar industry. That's what I was saying. All them, the big wigs and owners and stuff, they already expressed it as money on the table and they they damn for it. They said it should have happened last year. So, um, and it says, if so, it won't be limited to betting on whether a team wins or loses. There would there would be bets on quarters and halftime scores, um, features, uh, bets on league champion championships, and plus the Super Bowl prop bets. Um, and it says, um, what else? On such things as who will score the first touchdown, the gun that the gambling industry is also embracing real time betting during games. For example, there's uh, there's going to be a time where I'll be watching a you know Washington Nats game and you'll be watching an Orioles game and there there's going to be a runner on first. You're going to be able to bet on whether the next pitch is a ball or a strike. Like, that's how... <laughs> and this is their example that they put in, in the article, okay? And it says, and you're going to be... And, and you're going to put a side bet on a double play. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the type of stuff you're going to be doing. And um, during this... Uh, they was... During this article, they was interviewing, you know, the um, American Gaming Association, like, top... Top of the board, they was they was they were talking to really big people in the game of making this possible for Maryland. Um, seeing that everybody else is already like Maryland's always last to do things. Um, <laughs> and somebody from Maryland could tell you that. Like if surrounding states 
they always got, they even, they got clothes, shoes, movies, everything comes out first there before it hits Maryland. So I'm not surprised that we're late in the game, of course, but I'm just happy that they're really considering it on a very high note, a very serious note they're considering this. And I see it probably happening sometime late this year or possible 2020, like they said. And this is good news for anybody who does gamble. I don't gamble, but I tell you what, if they had this when Floyd was fighting, anytime I had money to bet, I would have bet on Floyd. I never, ever thought Floyd was going to lose. And that's kind of how I feel about my... My three, you know, my my three favorite fighters, you know, Earl Spence Jr., um, Javante Tank Davis, and Deontay Wilder. I feel I feel like I will put, I will put, a, I can put faith into them winning the pen, no matter on who they fighting in their weight class, and that's just how I feel. But I'm not a betting person. If I would, if I was a betting person, I definitely would take advantage of this. And this is it's nothing but good news. I will keep my eye on this and see what exactly is going on um, with this ballot in the next few months. And I will keep you guys updated. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to the DMV. Holla.